Keep your night vision intact by using a red flashlight when observing. The night vision flashlight uses two red LEDs for even illumination. An easy-to-use thumb wheel adjusts the brightness. Square shape keeps the night vision flashlight from rolling away. Powered by an included 9 volts battery. A red flashlight is one of the most beneficial accessories you can own as an amateur astronomer, no matter how occasional your night sky observations may be. Also, if you plan to observe with other people, whether at a star party or in your own neighborhood, a red flashlight is an important part of good star party etiquette. When you are outside doing astronomy, or any nighttime activity that requires you to see as well as possible, any white light is a detriment. Every time you use white light, your eyes react. The pupils contract, making their aperture smaller, and a smaller aperture always means less light gathering whether we are talking about your eyes or your optical equipment. Top reviews from the United States. Best red variable flashlight hands down. Especially for astronomy observing. I've tried several red flashlights as I do a great deal of astronomy observing. This is the best one on the market. If you truly observe a lot, you know that you actually don't want the light to be bright, especially when you are in an area with very dark skies. Or you need it low while looking at a map and then brighter when you are walking around outside of your observing area. It's adjustable brightness. They use red LEDs instead of filters, filters just aren't as good. And unlike another brand, there is no switch between white light and red light. Why does this matter? When you are out in the dark, your eyes are light adapted to the dark and therefore you can see objects in the sky better. If you even briefly are accidentally exposed to white light, it usually takes 20 to 30 minutes for your eyes to get fully adapted to the dark again. I keep regular flashlights with me but don't want it on the same one as my red light is on.